everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm making one of my favorite recipes today. This is for my balsamic mushroom risotto. This is a recipe from the Two Spoons Cookbook. I love this recipe because it just brings all the gourmet comfort to a dinner recipe. The mushrooms are balsamic infused. We're cooking those separately and then we're stirring it into the risotto. The risotto is really beautifully creamy. We are using arborio rice for the recipe. It makes a really, really nice risotto. And then we're adding in some veg broth, a little bit of white wine, and some nutritional yeast for that little bit of cheesiness. All around, it's a very, very simple recipe. Anyone can make it. If you're a beginner cook, you do not need to be intimidated by this recipe. And it's all done over the stove. So let me show you how to make it. We're gonna start by cooking up the onion and garlic. I feel like every good recipe starts with a base of onion and garlic. So we'll throw in our onion, garlic, we're gonna add in a little salt and we're gonna let that cook a bit until the onions and garlic start to sizzle and become a bit translucent. Next, we're gonna add the arborio rice. And from here, I'm just gonna toast this rice until it's a little bit fragrant and then we'll start adding in our liquid. So we're just gonna toast this for two to three minutes. We just want it to be a little bit fragrant before we add in the white wine. So we need three quarter cups of white wine here. One thing to note is that when we're adding the wine, we're burning away the alcohol. So it's safe if you, you know, don't drink alcohol if you're pregnant like me. Um, but if it was of any concern, then you can just omit the uh, wine altogether. Maybe add like a little bit of lemon for that acidic flavor, or you could use like a non-alcoholic wine and you can just substitute with more broth. It also just like really adds that like winter gourmet vibe <laughs> when you're cooking with wine. Next up, we are going to add a cup of our vegetable broth. And then slowly but surely, as this risotto is thickening, we're just gonna add splashes more of our remaining broth until the risotto is really cooked and soft and pleasantly chewy. This usually takes around 25 minutes. I always say that risotto is a really easy recipe to make, but it does require standing and mixing. So you're gonna be over your cooktop and you're just gonna be watching it, adding a little bit more broth and stirring as you go. While I am waiting for my risotto to cook, I may as well get started on the balsamic mushrooms. Similar to last time, we're gonna start by melting the butter. So now we're gonna brown our mushrooms. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna crowd these a little bit. I like to cook my mushrooms on medium high heat because it burns away that water really quickly without the mushrooms getting soggy. These mushrooms are looking really nicely browned. They're looking soft. So I'm going to add in my balsamic. The balsamic is such a nice complement to these mushrooms. It really infuses them and then that transfers into the risotto. It's so delicious. I'm gonna take these mushrooms off the heat. They are good to go. And we're just gonna finish up our risotto. So this is actually really pleasantly chewy. So to finish this recipe, we're gonna add in the nutritional yeast. It's really gonna amplify that umami flavor and bring in a little bit of cheesiness. Some recipes, if they're not vegan, will put Parmesan in their risotto. But if you are vegan, nutritional yeast is a really great option. It really kind of delivers that same kind of umami flavor. Okay, this risotto is ready, so let's get it off the heat. Now for the taste test. Mm. 
to get some mushroom in here. Oh my God. Mm. The risotto is perfectly pleasantly chewy. It's creamy. It's got that cheesiness from the nutritional yeast. I love that hint of balsamic. And the mushrooms are a must in risotto. This is wonderful. Mm. I hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, let me know what you think in the comments below. I really, really love reading your comments and hearing from you. And make sure that you give this recipe a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out the Two Spoons app and the Two Spoons cookbook. Your support is really so helpful in me continuing providing plant-based recipes to you and doing what I love, so I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon, bye. I could eat this whole bowl.